Thank you for viewing this Any Excuse for a Chemistry Experiment video on combustion of sulphur aimed at teachers used by anyone. I'm Scott Munro. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the burning of sulphur in air. This can only be a class demonstration, so students will need to use their observation skills. It'll fit into your scheme of work at key stage three using indicators and acids or types of reactions. At key stage four, a superb introduction to atmospheric pollutants from fuels. As a starter exercise, I would ask my students to state what type of chemical bond there would be in the element sulphur, then ask them to justify their choice. Here's a suggested technician's list for this experiment. You're going to need a fume cupboard if you don't have one in your lab, a gas jar, powdered sulphur, universal indicator solution, and deflagrating spoon. This reaction produces sulphur dioxide gas. Sulfur dioxide gas is corrosive and toxic. The reaction must be carried out in a fume cupboard. Inhalation can exacerbate any existing breathing conditions. Pour about three to five millilitres of universal indicator solution into the gas jar. You want the students to see the green colour clearly. You want to put some sulphur powder into the deflagrating spoon. I use a spatula to transfer the sulphur so the students can see everything clearly. Ensure the work area is clear and the fan in the fume cupboard is on. Heat up the sulphur. I'm using a Bunsen flame here, but I have used a lighter in the past. You're expecting the sulphur to melt and then combust with a blue flame. Place the deflagrating spoon into the gas jar and observe the universal indicator. You should see the green colour turn red as the gases in the gas jar dissolve in the solution and produce a strong acid. Ask your students to explain how they knew a chemical reaction was taking place. Ask them to write down the word equation for the reaction with sulphur and a gas from the air. A gas cannot be acidic. What state of matter must an acid be in? If sulphur is a contaminant in fossil fuels, how is this demonstration useful for explaining how burning fossil fuels can cause an increase in acid rain? Ask students why they think the experiment is carried out in a fume cupboard. This can lead on to the idea that burning sulphur in fuels can cause respiratory problems in humans. After this demonstration, students should then build a table of different pollutants and their effects in their book. The total cost of chemical consumables for this demonstration is about two pence. I do hope you found this video useful. I'm certainly enjoying making them. Please like it by clicking the thumbs up button. Post a comment. Subscribe to Any Excuse for a Chemistry Experiment. Lots more videos to come through the academic year. Thank you and goodbye.